Hi Change Checkers, spring has sprung and we are back with lots of new numismatic news. Yeah, March was such a busy month with five new yeah. UK coins released and we also announced that we'll be taking our 50p swap to Essex for the first live event of 2024. Yeah, I can't wait for that one. Now we definitely have a lot to update you on, so without further ado, I'm Rachel. And I'm Kate and this is your Change Checker newsletter for March. So the first coin we need to talk about is actually a five pound coin and it's the second coin to be individually released from the 2024 annual coin set. It's of course the Buckingham Palace five pound and it pays tribute to probably one of the most recognisable buildings in the world. Absolutely. Now this coin has been designed by Henry Gray and it features a beautifully detailed depiction of course of the front of Buckingham Palace and you can even see the royal standard flying above the palace itself as well. Mm -hmm. and of course this does signify the presence of a British monarch so always look out for the flag when you are going past Buckingham Palace. Yeah. Now this design is actually encircled as well by a floral ring tying in the king's love of nature. So I think a really That's great clever, isn't one. it? And it's the perfect way to hold over 250 years of royal history in your hand with this coin. Absolutely. So of course, you know, Buckingham Palace has been in the royal family since 1761. Now this was when George III bought it as Buckingham House. Mm -hmm. And he bought this for his wife, Queen Charlotte, to use as their family home. But did you know that it was actually renovated into the palace as we know it today? And that was part down through generations of monarchs but the very first monarch to actually live there was Queen Victoria and that was in 1837. Oh so it's been in the family a long time very but long no one time. actually lived in it until that is interesting. Yeah so that's the fun thing is that you learn a lot of history with coins like this don't you? Yeah definitely. Of Obviously today the palace acts as the king's administrative headquarters he doesn't actually live there yeah. but it is a huge building with like over 700 rooms and a yeah. swimming pool so if you want to find out more about the Buckingham Palace five pound click the link in the description. Now the third and final coin in the iconic specimens collection, following on from the T-Rex and the Stegosaurus 50p, is of course the Diplodocus 50p, a very big dinosaur squeezing its way down onto a UK 50p coin. Now this is also part of the wider Tales of the Earth series, which previously featured the Dinosauria collection and the Mary Annie collection, but now we do see this final series coming to a close. Yeah, and the design shows the longest dinosaur known to man, mm -hmm. the Diplodocus, like you say, all fit onto a 50p. Now, did did you know that a Diplodocus could reach up to 90 feet long wow. and the neck alone 26 it's feet? Mad, so isn't it? that is incredible. So Robert Nichols, the designer, obviously he had expert guidance from Paul Barrett at the Natural History Museum. Yeah. They worked together to really squeeze that mammoth dinosaur onto a tiny coin. And in front of the dinosaur, you can even see a skeleton of a Diplodocus as well. Yeah, it's very so, clever, isn't it? Lots of details to spot on these coins. I think they're great. Yeah. And now that all three coins in the collection have been released, you have the chance to own them all in superior, brilliant and circulated quality. And you can also get the other coins in the Tales of the Earth series. There's nine in total. Mm. But if you want to find out more about them, then just head over to our blog. So on to another new 50p. This one actually kicks off a brand new Star Wars 50p series and it features, of course, the Millennium Falcon. Mm -hmm. Now, this series will celebrate iconic spacecraft from the Star Wars franchise. Now, the Millennium Falcon is probably the best known one of all Absolutely. of them. Piloted by Han Solo and Chewbacca and it's known as the fastest <laughs> hunk of junk in the galaxy. Yeah, it's really cool and I'm sure there's going to be lots of Star Wars fans out there that will be really excited by this brand new coin. Now, it does follow on from the character duo's 50p series, but the new series features the Millennium Falcon, the TIE Fighter, the X-Wing and the mighty Death Star 2. Mm. So a very iconic series of spacecraft from the Star Wars franchise. Yeah, and actually like the previous coins in the character duo's series, mm. we actually see a lenticular feature on this coin. So when you tilt it one way, you see the Rebel Alliance Starbird, and when you tilt it the other way, you see the Millennium Falcon. So that's a really cool feature yeah. as well. And did you know, a little bit of trivia for you about mm -hmm. Star Wars, George George Lucas actually changed the original Millennium Falcon model at the very last minute. He was inspired by a half-eaten hamburger <laughs> that he placed down next to an olive on a stick and that's sort of what inspired him to change wow. the shape of the Millennium Falcon because it's quite an odd shape. So wow. that's something I bet you didn't know. Yeah, so you never know where inspiration is going to strike you next. Could be at dinner time tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to find out more about the Millennium Falcon 50p in this brand new Star Wars series, click the link in the description box.
Now, something magical has landed in our collections this March as a new Harry Potter 50p featuring one of the most memorable moments from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone has been released and this coin is called the Wing Keys. Mm -hmm. Now, this features Harry Potter soaring around an underground chamber on his broomstick and of course he's chasing after a flock of flying keys. Yeah, and this design perfectly represents the bravery, friendship and the joy of adventure and discovery that is the magic of Harry Potter. Yeah. And it really does spark nostalgia in any Harry Potter fan. I know looking at this design, it yeah. does make me think back. Absolutely, but this isn't the first time that Harry Potter is actually featured on our UK coins. In fact, we were treated to two 50ps in 2022 and two more in 2023. Mm -hmm. So there's a series of four coins that was released there and there's something a bit special about those coins. Yeah, they also, as we said with the Star Wars coins, they were the first 50ps to feature a lenticular feature. So when you tilt it one way, you saw the iconic Harry Potter lightning bolt and yeah. the other way was the number 25 because that series was released to celebrate 25 years since the release of the first book. Yeah, and what's really unique about that series is that it actually features a dual portrait. So the first two included Queen Elizabeth II on the mm -hmm. obverse, whereas the last two then had King Charles III. So something a bit special about that one. And you can bet that Harry Potter collectors with those coins in their collection, they're going to be after the winged keys as well. So mm -hmm. make sure that you don't miss out because it's going to be a very highly sought after 50p, I think. Yeah, and it's so detailed. You have to really see it to believe yeah, it. I you mean, do. you can see it on screen now, but you have to get your magnifying glass <laughs> out and see how many keys you can see flying yeah. around there but if you want to try and spot all the details click the link in the description to read our blog So another new £5 coin we've had is the fourth coin in the Decades of Bond £5 series. And this one celebrates Bond films of the 90s. Mm -hmm. The series obviously started off with the Bond films of the 60s, and there are seven coins in the series in total. That's right. Now for this series, Pierce Brosnan took over from Timothy Dalton and made his debut as Bond in the 1990s, with the first film, Goldeneye, in 1995. Yeah, now the 90s Bond £5 features the Q-boat from The World Is Not Enough speeding through the Thames. It's really captured on yeah. that coin. You can see it moving. And it actually recreates that iconic river chase, the scene that was actually the longest pre-title Bond sequence scene at 14 minutes long. It's mad, isn't it? Really long, but full of action. It had yeah. everyone absolutely gripped, didn't it? Yeah, it really had everyone gripped. Now this is certainly one to add to your collection if you are a Bond fan or if you have any of the previous Bond £5, either in this series or perhaps even the previous series that we saw in 2020 as well. Oh, I like that one. Absolutely. But if you do want to find out more, head over to our blog and the link is in the description box below. So exciting news, Change Checkers, because in March, we announced the first Change Checker Live event of 2024. Now, we will be coming to Lakeside Shopping Centre in Essex on the 30th of April for our next 50p live swap. I am so excited. Mm -hmm. Now, usually at these swaps, we only have one new 50p design that we swap your 50ps for, mm -hmm. but this time we're actually putting two extremely popular 50p series against each other. Yeah. So you'll have the option to choose whether you want to swap your 50p for a Harry Potter 50p or a Star Wars 50p. Pay. That's right. So we spoke about both of these series previously. So we spoke about the Harry Potter series. Now these are the ones issued mm -hmm. in 2022 and 2023, so series of four. We're putting them head to head against the four Star Wars 50ps released earlier. So those are the character duos ones. Mm -hmm. So you've yeah. got two series to choose from. Which one do you think is going to come out on top? I don't know. Well, we already have done a vote. Mm -hmm. So I'll put the link in the description box below and you can head over there and see which one's winning. Yeah. Um, but it's neck and neck at the moment. I think I'd personally time. pick Harry Potter. Which I was going to say Star Wars. Oh, so, okay, okay. So it's head to head for me and Kate. We'll figure out who's the winner after think. the event. But <laughs> yeah, if you don't have a chance to come join us at the event, you can head to that link and you can vote as well. So you do get to be a part of the action. But we're really looking forward to seeing all the different collectors there with their 50p's to swap with us for one of these coins. Well, what a month March has been with so many new UK coins being issued. Yeah, and you know what? I think my favourite of all of them has probably got to be the Millennium Falcon 50p, although I did like the Bond £5 as well. Mm -hmm. I think they're both very action-packed designs. So oh yeah, definitely. Really good ones. Yeah. And you let us know in the comments below which was your favourite coin that was released in March. And don't forget, you can find out more about everything we spoke about today by clicking the links in the description box below, as well as our upcoming live event. Yeah, absolutely. So be sure to subscribe to our channel as well and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any any future videos from us and remember you can also listen to us on the go with the change checker podcast which is available on all major streaming platforms thank you so much for watching and listening and we'll see you next time when we'll be reporting on the month of april bye <laughs>